Creating a chain action. A chain action is when we limit the number of edits uh, when one action triggers another. Here we have a conference table and we're going to stretch the conference table and we're going to array some chairs. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put in a linear parameter. So I'm going to go over here, I'm in my block editor and I go to linear. On the command line I'm going to type in C and enter for chain. And do I want to associate a chain with this, evaluate a chain? I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to pick my start point. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick an end point on the chair. And I'm going to go over to the other end point of the chair. And come down, I'm going to place my label location. I'm going to click on this particular uh, uh, parameter, right click, go to properties, and I'm going to change the name to chair array. And you can see that down here that it is a chain action. I'm going to say close. All right. And we have no actions assigned to this thing. So the next thing what we do is assign an action. What kind of action? We want to go with an array action. So I go over to actions. I go to array. I select the parameter. So I'm going to pick this chair array. And it says select objects. I'm going to pick this chair. And I'm going to pick this chair. And I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me for the distance between the columns. I'm going to pick on the end point of a chair and I'm going to go over and pick on the next end point of the next chair. And now we have at this point a array action. Now we need to put a linear parameter for the table stretch. Let's go back to parameters. We go to linear and what we want to do is we want to pick Shift right click, go endpoint. I'm going to do a shift right click and go endpoint. I'm going to place the label location and I'm going to go up and change the name to table stretch. And close it. And we do though. Uh, for the table stretch, we only want one grip, not two grips. So I'm going to right click on that, go to properties again. When I come down here and change the number of grips to be one. All right, I'm going to close that. And now we need to add a stretch parameter grip. And uh, so we need to add a, a stretch action, excuse me. So I go to actions, I'm going to go to stretch, and select this parameter, and then what we want to do is specify uh, specify the, uh, the next step here is to go ahead and pick a parameter point, and I'm going to pick right up here. And then I'm going to pick the first point of the stretch frame. So I'm going to come on, pick right up here. I'm going to drag down. I'm going to pick a box. And I'm going to pick down here in the lower right. It says next, select the objects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and pick inside of this with a pick. I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick right here. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now I can save my block and I can test it and, and try it out. 